Hey guys, if I could tell you how long I've been waiting to start this video because my lips is chapped AF. <laughs> Anyways, today we're doing a video on skincare, how to do proper skincare, what's the routine, what are the steps, what in order to use the right products. These lips is dry. I never let my lips get like this. We're gonna talk about what we're using though. Anyways, if you want to see how we're doing some skincare nowadays and what I'm using and what I use for my skin to get it looking the way it does, except for these few spots, and it makes you <laughs> stay tuned. All right. So as I was telling y'all, my lips is chapped. This is right where they meet. It's got a real harsh trap line my favorite thing to use on my lips is my Vaseline lip therapy come on Vaseline lip therapy it's actually Vaseline gel this is the aloe one they have one in rose coconut oil coconut oil yeah but coconut too for your lips they smell amazing they absorb really well they don't leave your lips like greasy that they're so good. Anyways, but that's what I use for my lips. So one of the first things I do with skincare is I always go straight for my lips. Keeping your lips hydrated is so important. The the lip products we're using nowadays, everything is like super matte, super drying. Um, most people don't like the shine, all that kind of stuff. Um, because if you're not buying stuff that's got the good vitamins for your lips, guess what? They get dry. The cold weather in New England is just sucking all the good hydration out of your skin, out of your lips in particular. I know a lot of people aren't carrying the proper stuff. If you're getting that dollar chip chapstick, the dollar chapstick, I don't want to hear nothing about, oh, you know, I put some chapstick on my lips, still dry. Well, of course they are. You can't use that. It's like just putting a wax on your lips. It might protect them from the air, but it ain't doing for anything for these little smoochers. You gotta put something that's gonna suck in and protect it and give it something that needs aloe. It's a hydrating agent. Aloe. So if you're getting anything for your skin, aloe for your lips, for your face, your under eye area, all that good stuff. Anyways, so first what we're gonna go in and do is we're gonna tone our skin. We're going in with a Pixies a Glow Tonic. Y'all know I got the mother load on the Glow Tonic. Y'all know how Pixie gives it up. And you know how good this stuff is. So we're just gonna put this on a little cotton round. Do, 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 do. And we are going to rub it all over your face. Now, a lot of people think toner is an essential. So I'm gonna I'm gonna ask you this. Do you think toning your skin is something you have to do? Go ahead. Is it an essential? Do you have to do this part? Um, and I'm gonna tell you right now, no, you do not have to do this part. If you're able to do this part with your skin, sure, please do it. It's great for your skin, absolutely going to tone your pores, tighten them up a little bit. It's going to help give your skin the extra glow. Clean it up a little bit, you know. But if you have dry skin, toning it can pull some of that hydration out for you if you're not doing it right. There's so many different toners nowadays. If you find a hydrating toner, please be my guest and use the hydrating one. You have dry skin in any way, shape, or form. Where toning can pull out some of that stuff, some of the, the vitamins that you're needing. So, if your skin is dry all year round, I don't care what season it is and where you live, if it is dry all the time, skip that toner until you get your skin on point. Until it is dry, it is supple, you don't have flakes, you don't have red spots, you need to skip that toner. It is not important. Your hydration on your skin is important. You're trying not to have those flakes. But you can see already using this toner, we've got a good glow. Your skin's evening out a little bit. But this is what I love about this stuff. It's great. It's great. And they've got these in so many different forms now too. So any of the Pixie um, 
tonics, only the, the skin treats for the toners, glow tonics, they have milk tonics, retinol, check them out. But this one, I love, love, love. So the next step I love to do for my skin is I like to go in with a water-based moisturizer. Now a lot of people are like, hmm, water-based, that doesn't sound like it does a whole lot. And it doesn't do as much as uh, a serum or one of those moisturizers, the white ones or a gel-based one. But what I think it does is it kind of wakes up your skin and goes, hey, we prepping you for some stuff coming in wake you up and get you a little lively so today we're going to go in with the new derma e blue shield protecting one this one is called the blue light shield spray it's got blue green algae um, activated charcoal and ginseng root extract now, I've been using these you can use this as like a setting spray as well um, with the blue Blue Light Shield Spray does, and it helps protect your face from all the screen time that we're getting. And how many screens are we around every day? We've got our phones, we've got our tablets, we have our iPads, we have DS's, we have PS on the go, we have switches, we have TVs, it's everywhere. We have our computers, laptops, you name it. We are all doing it all more than half the day between work, kids, home, school, it's just there, going to the bar, going out to dinner. I mean, TVs are in the bathrooms nowadays. You can't get away from it. If you go to the bathroom without your phone, you just, you feel weird. So, this is gonna protect you from all that stuff because um, that the blue light is aging us, is what it's doing. So this is gonna protect us. So you can use this before you do your makeup, or you can use it after. I, in particular, find that I love using this before. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a generous amount all over my face. It kind of absorbs in, but it kind of wakes up my skin to get ready for the next step that I'm going to do. Another spray that I really, really, really love that everybody is super aware of is the Mario Badescu Rose Spray. Um, it's a favorite of everybody, including clients. Um, and they have that in like three or four cents now too, which is super great. And they all have different benefits as well. But one thing that I always focus on is hydration. Hydration, hydration, hydration. So this is giving you the hydration, but you've got other benefits that are going with it as well. Anything that's going to help with wrinkles, evening out your, your skin tone, hydration. Again, I can't tell you enough. And then we've got some other things that we're going to touch on today as well. So let's spray this bad boy up. Like I said, I do a generous amount. This is a very fine mist, but it doesn't spray very far, so I do it very close to my face so that I can feel it. And I like to make sure I get a nice even tone everywhere. So we're gonna let that just all sit in, absorb. I like to make sure everything dries because once you put the next product in, you're rubbing it, and I feel like we lose a little bit. So, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. all right. We're gonna talk about the next part that we're gonna do. Another favorite of mine is the Mario Badescu Hyaluronic. Ooh. Mario Badescu Hyaluronic Eye Cream. Now, you never wanna forget your eye area. Nowadays, with all the makeup that we're doing, so much is going on around the eyes. Um, and that's a very, very sensitive area. Just going in, tap, 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 tap. That you don't need a lot. You just put your little ring finger in, you come in and you just tap it up. Really gentle on the skin. Do a little bit on the lid, but not too much. You gotta make sure you get under those eyes really well. I don't like to have too much too extra either. So I'll go in with a nice clean finger. Make sure it gets absorbed really well. I like to go along my nose. I've noticed along the sides of my nose I get these little bumps and that's from it being dehydrated. There we go. Oh yes girl. Mm. She's looking good. We're getting there. I know my face needs all the extra love today. 
it's taking me a lot longer to get to this skin video. But my skin has needed all morning. I'm sitting there going, oh, my face, my face, my face. <laughs> all right, so we're, not, we're ready to get to our next serum now that our spray has dried. Um, and what we're gonna use is the Derma E Vitamin C Serum. It's a concentrated serum. Now, one of the things that I love about vitamin C that really, really helped my face, and it's something that I like to keep in my routine somewhere. If I use it in a toner, if I use it in a serum, if I use it in a lotion, if I use it in a night routine, is vitamin C really brought down all the texture in my skin. I used to have bumps everywhere, and there are minimal bumps that you didn't see unless I put on my makeup and then you saw it in my close-up photos. Um, but it was something that I hated, but it also helped bring some of my acne down um, and stuff like that. And now my skin, it's its a world of difference. And when vitamin C used to t started to take off in the skincare world, um, Cheryl Science had reached out to me and they had this dope serum and I just doused my skin in it. It wasn't something, it depended on the form of it. You get it in serums, you can get it. Um, and silicones, you can get it in drops. So it depends on the form that comes in. And I was able to put it in my morning and night routine. But be careful with vitamin C. You can't be out in the sun with it too much. So that's another thing. Um, like I said, you gotta do your research when you're getting skincare for yourself. Everybody's skin is different. But vitamin C saves my skin with texture, with breakouts, that kind of stuff. Of course, you still get these things but it helps tremendously and helps with fine lines too. So you can't go wrong, you can't go wrong. Vitamin C, vitamin C is where it's at. I can't tell you, especially with, I'm gonna be 35 this year, 35. So anybody who's a little bit older in the game doing their thing, 35, vitamin C, vitamin C. I'm telling you, so we're gonna do a couple little squirts. Oh, y'all see that go? You seen it fly? All right, about three pumps in there. Can you see it? All right, we're gonna take it. I like to, I'm just making a whole mess today. All right. And always bring it down your neck. And be careful around the eyes. This stuff can be very potent. It all depends on the percentage in it. Some products will tell you the percentage of vitamin C in it and some don't. Um, I've had some that are up to 30% and that stuff will make your face tingle in an almost uncomfortable manner. Like you go, oh, it's working. I like to know it's working, but you kind of go, ooh, ooh, okay, girl. It makes you kind of itchy. <laughs> but it did its job and it did it well. So I wasn't mad, <laughs> was not mad. So there we go. As you can see, we're starting to get that nice little dewy glow to our skin. It's nice and supple, you know what I'm saying? All right, I'll make it a mess. All right. So I want you to notice the order we're doing everything in. Depending on the type of skincare we're doing depends on the order you do it in. Um, water-based always goes first just because it's water. Anything can kind of be layered up with that to make it easier. Um, next, I like to do my eye area just because it's sensitive um, and it doesn't need a whole lot, so layering that generally is okay as well. Next, I like to do the serum. Um, serum. Serums usually mix really well with just about anything. Some of them will have a little bit of a problem and you'll notice that once you go layer on your lotion because it'll kind of do this like pilly thing on your face. I've had a few that do that so if you see that they do that it's just not mixing well with the lotion you have after. It could be the product before that. So just keep an eye on that when you're introducing products but you always introduce one product at a time when you're doing routines. When you start to introduce multiple products and they're not working, you don't know where it's gonna, the problem's gonna be. But also if you have a reaction, say you're allergic or it could be a chemical reaction between the products, that's a problem. So you always introduce one product at a time and I'd say give it about two weeks in between both one to see results and two to make sure everything's working okay. Um, 
because I know I have sensitive skin. Like I can't use benzoyl peroxide. I am highly allergic to it. I can use it um, and within an hour or two, I am swelled up and red like a tomato. So benzoyl peroxide is a no, no, no. And it's one of the best things to use for acne. And well, I can't use it. <laughs> so just what it is. So let's move on to our next product. Um, because after serums, we can do lotions or, or moisturizers. And what's nice about the moisturizer is the moisturizer is creating this barrier that's going to seal everything off and keep everything in that we've put in. Now, say if you use an oil, if you go use an oil now and then just try to go put that moisturizer in, guess what? Nothing is penetrating that oil. So you're wasting your product. Um, and, and the oil's there and the oil's everywhere and you really have to be careful with using oils because they're just, you don't need a lot and some people overuse and it creates an issue. So there's a way to do this. You wanna do water-based, eyes, serum, moisturizer, which means it's like a white lotion or gel. And then you wanna do your oils. Generally I leave oils for night just because they can be so heavy and you look like a crystal ball sometimes if you use a little too much on accident. Let's just keep it real. So now we're going in with Derma E Skin Restore Advanced Peptides and Collagen Moisturizer. So collagen, you know what we're after. Gotta keep this face looking young, baby, young. So I'm just going with this a little bit because this is another one that can be a little on the heavy side. But also, don't ever forget your neck area. Don't, don't, don't. Our neck is always hanging out in the weather too. Are you always wearing turtlenecks? No. Does your coat always sip up to your chin? No. Do we always wear a scarf? No, girlfriend, we not. So. We gonna sit here and we gonna do this. We gonna do this. We'll eat. Ooh. There we go. And I always make sure I get my problem areas really well. Around my nose can be an issue, like around down here. These get really dry. They get patchy. Sometimes around the corners of my mouth. And it's also important to keep your breakouts really hydrated. How do you expect something to heal if it's dried out? Think about it. All your wounds are generally, like if you go to the doctor and say you have a cut, and the doctor goes, we've, we've got to bandage that. It's because sometimes the, you need to keep the air off of it. You've got to let it close itself up. If you're not allowing your face to heal up and close itself up, how do you expect it to heal? It's going to be wide open at all times. Moisturizing that is important. Just gotta be careful with what you're using is what it comes down to. So, now that we've got that one done, last but not least, I wanted to show you an oil that I do like. I wanna show you how to use it properly so that we're not overusing, underusing, and all that jazz. So today we're gonna use the German E Anti-Wrinkle Treatment Oil. I love this bottle, it's just so dang pretty. But it's got a little dropper in it. There we go. One, two, three. No more than three. I like to rub it between my hands and all you can see is it's shiny. And we just pop. Oh, it smells good too. It smells herby. And I just pop. I mean, we can wipe it around after, but we only do three drops. There we go. Sometimes just patting. So, 
that is like really when I do a big big routine I don't do the oil day in and day out like first thing in the morning I'll do oils at night when I feel like I need it but oils can definitely be a game changer do not sleep on facial oils at all I love them especially a good rose hip oil let me tell you that is a healer um, for your skin when you need it especially in the winter so keep that in mind so let's go over what we talked about today um, toner is not always needed you can skip that step if you need to it can dry you out it's not a bad thing when your skin is normal and where it should be but if you are too dry it can be a problem skip it for a little bit do it every other day do it just at night when you're doing your heavier moisturizers if you want to think and be smart about how you're treating your skin it's so 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 important so think about that do your research this is how i learned these things i did research is toner important because i was having the same issues i used it i'm like yo my skin looks so good but it's so dry what can i take out until my skin is healed and where i want it to be and then i can use it or i can introduce it when i when i want to or every so often that's what i do so i use it uh, when i can and when my skin's good my i'm using the toner regularly or find a, a, like I said, a moisturizing toner that's good for me and works for me and my routine. But remember, tweaking your routine is also key. When the seasons change, you should be changing your routine a little bit to hydrate you more. Or if you need less hydration because you're too oily, keep that in mind too. Find something that's going to help control your oils. That's another thing that's important. You don't want to get moisturizers that are oil-based when you need oil-free. Look for those things. So, we went over those things. An order you want to do it water based serum sorry water based eye creams serums moisturizers or gel and then your oils keep that in mind and oils are not every day and you can take things in things and add them take put things in and take them out as you need to for your routine you don't have to do these things every day but it's what's good for your skin but the order is what is key 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 you don't have to do the water hydration every morning that's not important for you but don't do it the serum should be important in the moisturizer those two are super key at least if you want to do a two-point skincare routine go right ahead do that that's fine you don't need to do the eye cream if you don't want to if your eyes don't need it you know um you don't gotta do the oil if you don't need it but the more you're doing for your skin, the more your skin's gonna give back to you, the more it's gonna uphold during these long days in makeup. You go in to work for eight hours, but then you got the two hour commute with dropping kids off and getting to work. And then you got the two hour drive home to drop the kid, to pick the kids up and get home when you're cooking and you still got your makeup on. Think about all of the all this beating up you're doing to your face during the day. It's important and it's key. Take care of your skin like you take care of yourself. And then you're gonna get all this flawless makeup. Everything that the makeup products are supposed to do are gonna work better for you as well. So that's another thing. The better you take care of your skin, your skincare products are gonna work better for you. And finding the best skincare routine is, I think, the most work. And if anything you use, because um, I feel like you can manipulate skincare uh, makeup products, you can manipulate makeup products, but you can't manipulate skincare products the same way as you do makeup so finding the right skincare products for your routine for your skin is key 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 spend the time spend the money do the research if something says blah 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 sebum what's sebum google what sebum is sebum is actually important it's something in everybody's skin and guess what i have on a primer that sits here and 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 protects you from that all day helps control it for the day it works great it'll dry me out though but it'll help keep that up bay so sebum isn't becoming a problem for my skin throughout the day but it dries me out so then i go okay so my skincare routine at night's got to be a little heavier and this is what you gotta do you don't want to read and go i don't know what that word is next product well this sounds good because all the reviews are good i'll pick it up and then you go oh it's drying me out this is bad bad review do your research look up your words see what it means see what it's about this is what I'm doing to learn this is how I learned I watched YouTube I looked up those words I didn't know I read about the products I watched videos about the products I looked at reviews and I got them 
tried them out and said, mm, it's a hot mamma jamma or trash. All right, anyways, I hope you guys got something super helpful out of this. This is probably gonna be a long, long, long video, but I feel like there's so much packed in here. Um, so thank you so much for hanging out with me and watching. I hope you guys found something. If you have questions, 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 please make sure you drop them below. If there's another type of video that you want to see, again, drop those below so we can go over that. Part of doing the skincare video first is because everyone wants to know how to do flawless foundation. You can't do flawless foundation without having the best skincare for your type of skin. So key, so key, so key. Again, we also want to do brushes and stuff like that. You can't be doing the flawless skin and everything without the best skincare for your type of skin. So, find these things for you. I do what's best for me. My favorite brands for skincare is Pixie, Dermy E. Oh, there's another one. Garnier um, for T says some great skincare stuff that I absolutely love. Um, Cheryl Science has done some great stuff I love. There's just so many brands out there that I love. And it doesn't have to be high end. I'm telling y'all, don't break the bank over this. Um, drugstores are really carrying some dope, dope stuff nowadays. Um, Sarah V's got some really good stuff for you guys. Um, I'm telling you, drop questions for me down below, and if I've got something for you, I'll let you know what's working and what's what's not, what's hitting and what what don't. So, any guys, <laughs> thanks so much for hanging out with me. I'm winded from talking so much because you know how I run this mouth. <laughs> Anyways, thanks so much. I love you all. See you later. Bye.